the fuck is up guys i am back i'm back um i'm just gonna make like a uh future of battlefront 2 or battlefront games star wars games in general someone talk about the future of battlefront or the games in general right so first i'm going to talk about the uh the kind of environment the gaming environment we're in right now so pretty much we all know and we all also feel that a lot of games have been stagnant, you know, like a lot of these have been lackluster. People haven't been caring about, you know, content or even making a good game. Like this game is one thing, you know, we got the Call of Duties going on, you know, the new the new battle the new battlefield and shit like that. And, you know, no one's really a fan of those. All right, so the kind of era or the kind of um environment we're going into with like, you know, 2020, 2021, what I feel like is going to be the enter into, I would say, the, the return or the attempt to return into kind of better games. Like games that there's a little bit more thought put into them. All right, so before I, uh, before I give you guys so much hope, all right, I just want to kind of give you my opinion and you guys can go ahead and say what you guys want to say. But we're, uh, we're, we're seeing that, and I feel like, the developers or whoever is noticing that as well, you know, with like everyone's losing fucking money and shit and all that. So one of the primary um, reasons why I think this is because, well, you got that new Call of Duty game, you know, it's that nitty gritty. Everyone's actually excited for that. All right. You know, people haven't been excited for a lot of things. And, you know, why are people excited for that? Well, it's, it's obviously that new and it's also it's also because people are sick. People are just sick of that PC stuff, you know. You know, it's like people are trying to avoid real life. People are trying to avoid problems. People are trying to avoid just, I guess, reality. You could say. So, what I'm predicting in the, you know, with these new games and stuff, and I, I haven't watched. Well, I have. I've watched like the trailers for Fallen Order and all that stuff like that, but I haven't um been following it but you know just from the some of the trailers you see like the dismemberment of like stormtroopers and you, you know you see the um uh i guess like the um the background of that one rebel that one resistance leader or whatever i forget what his name is like saldera something something like that he was in the um, rogue one and stuff so if you know anything about him is that he's a pretty ruthless uh or so the story goes, he's a pretty ruthless um, resistance person. I'm not. I'm playing like shit right now because I'm talking, but just to have some fucking gameplay going on. But kind of that ruthless stuff, you know. People are people are sick of people are sick of just like this baby shit, man. Like this game, you know. You got. I feel like it's just too baby. Oh shit! This is a bad move. This is a bad move too. Oh no, I killed him. People are just sick of that. So what I'm what I'm kind of foreseeing in the near future is the the, the return into reality based stuff. Now obviously it's not going to go. At least I don't think so. It's not going to go to like the that bloody stuff. You know, like that. You know, the the stuff that like makes you double makes you think about what you're doing and all that stuff. I mean, I kind of hope it does, but I don't really I don't really have a faith in the in developers and stuff like that. But kind of the return to that 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 uh, that brutal nature, you know, like Star Wars. You know, if you do, if you think about it, right, when you're being blasted, all right, this is not like a bullet. You know, you're not getting penetrated fully. You know, some of them do. Some of the weapons do will penetrate you, whatever. But you're dying from burns. You're dying from that shock. You know, and like when you're getting hit, right, you want to feel. Or you want your character to be to be reacting to those hits, you know, like that that brutal nature of war. So kind of what I'm predicting in the future is we're gonna get more of those. All right, and how this relates to the Battlefront, I'm sure you guys can already tell what I'm about to say. Um, is that with Battlefront Three, um, which you know I don't even think that shit's been confirmed yet. But um, with Battlefront 3 and like with the Fallen Order and stuff like that, you're starting to get a return to that uh that brutal that brutal nature. You know the, the shit we've seen in like Call of Duty World War 2 or um Call of Duty World at War. All right, so one of the main things I'm um kind of predicting is that Battlefront 2 is going to be more more realistic. You know this game's kind of you know, people go for that casual shit. You know 
Like it's it's like you can buy this shit for your fucking kids or whatever. But you know, be realistic here, right? You know, your fucking mom or who the fuck is gonna buy you this shit anyway? You know, it's fucking Star Wars, right? You know, what's the worst that could happen? It's that family. It's that family shit, you know. So I, I think we're gonna get a, a return back to um, that brutal nature of of war. All right, but I also think. Um, we're also gonna have the three errors as well. I don't want three errors, but I honestly think that that'd be the best way to go. Um, I know Disney's like, you know, they made the Mandalorian and shit, and like that's that happens like right after, uh, dude, right after you know the trilogy, right after that, you know, the fucking last one in that trilogy, the original trilogy, right after that Empire Falls. So we got that shit going on, right? We also have um, the revival of the Clone Wars series. You know, like they're not gi they're not gonna be giving up. They're not going to be giving up the trilogy yet. And once we have that new movie coming out. And, and I mean, in terms of Battlefront 2, I think they're going to be adding um, maybe maps from that. Dude, hopefully not, man. I fucking, I do not like the prequels. So I like them, but I don't like, you know, I don't like Ray. I don't like all that fucking feminist trash, dude. But anyway, so I think it's going to be going back to that war in nature, you know. And I think we're going to have the three heiress as well. You know, imagine like clones and shit like that fucking brutal ass clone you know you're playing that that cl that fresh clone experiencing war and shit and you, you know you get fucking shot and you're like you hear your character or your character reacts to getting shot and like the um i guess like when i was watching the uh the battlefront not battlefront the fucking call of duty modern warfare the new one like the guns they felt like they had more weight more weight to them you know the you could hear the footsteps and shit like that also, why I switched to even first person in this game to begin with is because I think third person just wasn't realistic enough for me. Or, yeah, third person. I forgot the fuck I said. But, yeah, third person was not realistic enough, so I went to first person. And even in first person, you can see your... Excuse me. You can see... You can hear your player step on the ground, and you, and you, you know, you feel like you're a force to be reckoned with, I guess you could say, right? But, um, yeah, in terms of Battlefront 3... You know, we haven't heard anything yet, but I'm definitely feeling like they're going to be returning to that kind of thing. And also with Battle the, the Battlefront uh, 2015, like those, that character, like those character models, you know, that, um, that kind of realistic, the realistic nature to the, these games. And I really like Battlefront 2015 just because of that. Everything felt real, you know, everything... You know, I remember playing survival on Tatooine and like hearing that ATSD scared the fuck out of me, man. So I think that's what they're gonna be going for. All right, we haven't heard anything about Battlefront three, but I definitely think this gonna be three eras once again. I definitely think they're gonna be reusing a lot of um. Unfortunately, I think they're reusing a lot of like these maps or whatever. Um. You know, I I think they're gonna be re maybe reusing game modes as well. But, um, yeah, they have to sell new games, so obviously they're going to be new, new, like, new cables and shit, but I feel like they're going to be reusing the, the components to some of these, because, like, I feel like the, most of the problem is, like, you know, engineering the, engineering the, um, the game mode inside the engine, and then after you, re after you design it, it's easy from there, because then you can just copy and paste maps and shit like that, at least I, I feel like that's how it is, um, and also, I feel like a lot of the devs or a lot of the, uh, dude, why is there no one playing this shit? Oh, that's because it's fucking 3 a.m. But anyway, I think it's going to be three eras. Um, they're not going to be dropping, you know, the, you know, the, the OG, the OG, what do you call it? The OT and the, the pre, the prequels and shit like that. They're only going to be adding more. But I think they're, they're going to be going back to that. Because not only that, but, like, when you watch The Mandalorian and shit, like, you know, you feel like you get that, that grittiness, right? People are, people are fucking sick of that baby shit, man. We ain't babies anymore, man. Most of these motherfuckers are playing this game, right? They ain't goddamn babies. All right, I'm not trying to get baby playing this shit, man. And also, one thing I just want to touch on is, like, imagine getting that factor back into these Jedis, right? And, um, Battlefront 2015, you know, you're fucking scared of goddamn Jedis. And you saw a fucking Jedi, you're like, oh, shit. You know, this guy's gonna fucking slice me in half. You know, they didn't slice you in half, but, like the weight the, you just felt the weight to that character you like you heard his fucking steps and you hear that that um that lightsaber you know scares you so i feel like in terms of gaming 
we're gonna be going back to that type of thing, which it's just gonna get you fucking sales. Like I'm sure a lot of motherfuckers are pre-ordering these kind of games, which you know obviously is the point, right? You know, fucking get woke, go broke. That's what that's how the saying goes. But yeah, and also I just feel like well, a lot of the reasons why they kind of gave up on the game. You know, let's think about it like this, right? Heroes are pretty fucking easy to make. Yeah, you got to get the character model right, but um, you know, they don't give a fuck about balance, you know? They don't fucking care about balance. So what do you really have to worry about in terms of uh, uh, in terms of making a character? Like, you're just making one fucking character. How Honestly, how hard that? How hard is it? Like, you got fucking millions and millions of dollars and you can't have a fucking, you know, can't have some goddamn, uh, some fucking fresh boy make these character models for you? I mean, come on now. But the reason why they do that as well is because it's easy. You know, you can pass off a fucking hero or a duo of heroes as, like, new content or something fucking big. But really, it's you're playing the same goddamn maps, right? And just, you know, just having that one new hero. Which, um, in the beginning, yeah, Anakin was that fucking game breaker, right? They didn't, you know, they didn't really fucking care. Uh, they didn't really fucking care about the balance of him. You know, people want to play fucking Anakin, right? Got a lot of people coming back to the goddamn game because, you know, people want to play Anakin. You know, it's not that, it's not like that game changer, like, boo, bring people back and shit. You know, it's that gameplay, right? A lot of this gameplay is really lackluster. That's why I like playing Battle of uh, fucking um, Galactic Assault. It's because I feel like there's a lot, there's, there's a sense of urgency. Like, if you feel like, you kind of feel like you're there. Obviously, like, the, the fucking gunplay and shit like that it just makes it not feel like that. But yeah, um, so supposed to be talking about the future of Battlefront, but I'm kind of telling you guys um, how I feel about that. Um, also, with, like, the Battlefront 2015, you kind of already knew that they kind of didn't give a fuck anyway. Like, if, this sh if the game does not receive good publicity in the first two weeks, right, that kind of ultimately decides whether they give a fuck about the game or not. Like, you know, with Anthem, that bitch fucking flopped, dude. That shit flopped, and the fucking devs just stopped fucking caring, man. Or, uh, maybe not the devs, but, you know, the fucking the corporate motherfuckers. The guy who, the people who actually decide what's going on. Just, I can fuck, put the resource someone else. Right, put that bitch into, um, dude, I don't even fucking know, man. What's the difference between EA and Activision? I don't fucking care, to be honest. They're both same tr they're both trash. But yeah, in the 2015, they try to pass off, like, one new trait as, like, oh, this is the new content we're getting, this one new trait. I remember when they read these Berserker, I'm like, dude, this is not a fucking update. This is a fucking trait, dude. This is a trait. It's so bullshit. And, um... You know, like, maps, like, when they release those DLCs, right, that's fucking content. You know, that new map, the new game mode and shit like that, that's new content. Um, you know, getting new maps in, like, uh, Capital Supremacy, yeah, it's good. But I feel like it's just really repet it's repetition, man. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel like it's the same, um... No I, no, I take that back. I feel like it's the same battle over and over and over again. Like, same points, same shit like that. Because I feel like the maps aren't big enough where there's... I feel like the characters, they move too fast. I feel like there's not enough... There's not enough, uh... Well, you know, hindrances, uh... Like, problems with the terrain, shit like that. That makes battles hard. We're pretty much making battles hard, what? You get the fucking Jedis and shit, or you get that motherfucker with, like... The, uh, the starships, the starfighters, that's what makes these battles hard, right? It's not like, oh, man, these guys are fucking holding this bitch down. Nah, it's, it's, I don't feel like it's like that. And with a lot of these newer games, right, or I play Rising Storm Vietnam. So with that game, it's like, you, you know, to take this position is really fucking hard because you get shot and you're fucking dead. But not only that, but, like, the movement is just really... It's really tough movement. Like, you you really feel like your character's running through the goddamn city. But here, here is like, look how fast I'm running. Like, look how fast I'm running. I don't take fall damage. That's one thing I noticed with this game, too. It's like, the fall damage ain't as, as big as it was before. So just, like, you know, slow down the move. Pretty much bring it back to Battlefront 2015 type shit, right? But yeah, like, make it, like, you feel like you're in a goddamn battle. And that's also another thing I like about Battlefront 2015 for is, like, you know, Walker Assault and all this shit like that. It's, like, you f really feel like you're in a different battle every time. Um, and another thing is just the announcers as well. Like, you you have that sense of urgency. 
with these with these uh, announcers and stuff. And that's another thing as well. I think it's like Ghost Recon, like that realness. Um, pretty much that realness is what's is what I think is making a comeback. I just honestly just feel like I feel like they need to stop catering to the babies. Stop catering to the fucking kids. And in terms of my predictions for Battlefront, uh, fucking Battlefront Three, I think it's gonna be kind of see. One of the main things is making it feel like it's a new game. So like with this game, I feel like they just tone down the graphics and increase speed and do all that shit like that, and then new maps, boom, new game, right? So one of the things I think is gonna happen is they're gonna go back to that art style, like that 2015 art style, and um, you know add a lot of kind of new maps, or uh, maybe not new maps, but like refresh old maps and shit like that, and um, and boom, you got that fucking game. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna do, we're do, it's gonna be all three eras once again. Um, you know, getting that realness, that realness to the Empire, that realness to the uh, the clones, and then you know, with the First Order and shit like that, we didn't, we really never had that realness to that because we never played that. You know, even the fucking movies, man, just, they feel like they're in certain scenes, you feel like it's real, but then they, they add that comedy to it, and it's just like, you know, you don't really feel that brutal nature of the First Order. Which they are, they're, they're fucking more brutal than the goddamn Empire. Um, I definitely think they're going to be reusing, like, Jordicas and shit like that. I think one of the main reasons we didn't have them to begin with is because dev time, whatever. Like, I bet you they have these big-ass plans that, oh, nope, we don't have no time to do that. So, let's fucking cut this shit. Let's cut this shit and, you know, focus on the basics or whatever. Fuck. So, that's definitely going to be the reusing of, um, of, uh... Do character models, you know, the class system. I, as much as I fucking hate the class system, I think they're gonna bring it back. Maybe not as restrictive as it was before, as as it was in this game, but they're gonna be bringing back a lot of weapons and shit. Um, and I I also feel like Battlefront Three isn't gonna happen for a real while because I think it'll be they're gonna be working on shit they can um kind of reuse and shit. I'd say, like like I said before, mo I feel like most of it's just getting that coding down in the coding down get like you know the templates for the new shit right and um i feel like i mean don't quote me on this but this is what i want and i think they're gonna do is they're gonna cut down on the amount of heroes that are able to spawn so the, the heroes actually feel like so i think what's happened in this game is because um this game released got a lot of bad press in the beginning so they they redid the resources they um they fucking put the resources into other shit same with Battlefront, uh, 2015. People shit on it, and then they fucking abandon the bitch. They didn't abandon it, but they moved their research somewhere else. So I guess the key thing is getting that good press. I think they're going to be focusing on their marketing as well. Oh my god, I'm fucking ass, dude. Jesus. Like, imagine Kylo Ren with, like, that scary-ass fucking, you know, his... Dude, people don't like Kylo Ren. I fucking like Kylo Ren, man. I think... Kylo Ren's a really good addition. Like he's that Vader that we never fucking saw. He's a Vader we never saw, and people might disagree with that. But like, but like you know, he's pretty fucking good. They made him look like shit in the movies, but I feel like he's um that he like fostered his fostered is that the right word? Harness. He fucking harnesses anger and shit, and he has these moves that we've never seen. Like fucking f stopping time. What the fuck you even want to call that shit? I kind of like stopping their fucking stopping their movement or whatever. Four stop, I don't fucking remember. But yeah, um, it's one thing I wanted to touch on. Just like the, don't count on Battlefront T, Battlefront Three, probably until like 2022, 2021, probably 2021. Just cause they those movies, they gotta fucking milk the movies, man. They gotta add the new maps for the for the movies or whatever. You know, you got because you got new movies coming out. People want to play Star Wars. But yeah, and I think the, the success of like. A Jedi Fallen Order is also going to be a really big thing as well. Like, I don't like single player games, but in that single player fucking shit coming back with like the new, um, kind of like the new vibe of Star Wars. Um, it's really, it's really going to set its president, president, precedence, yeah, precedence for what's to come. So hopefully that game does well. Which, as far as I'm concerned, um, yeah, that game. Doing pretty well in terms of 
the p opinions on it, the press opinions and shit. And press, I don't mean like the fucking, you know, these quote unquote journalists, man. You fuck the journalists. I'm talking about like the YouTubers, like those, the real fucking press, man. So yeah, the success of these new fucking brutal ass games is gonna, is gonna, is gonna mean something for the future of essentially games, all the games in the future. All right, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this video off right now. Um, I'm gonna make one right after this one, but that's pretty much all I don't want to talk about right now. I think you guys want to hear this. I think a lot of people want to hear that. People like to speculate and shit. Um, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, fucking like it. If you disliked it, I don't care. Um, fucking subscribe. And yeah, man, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.